Now, here is the key point about pointers that makes it confusing. I'm going to go through an example with you and show you that this pointer has some restrictions on it because you're using it to point to something that it normally isn't associated with it. So there's there got to be some important restrictions here. So let me show you that. So let's go back to our uh, Blue Jay here for a second, and I'm going to introduce a speak method here. So I'm going to say public void speak, and then in here, in the other classes, in the bird, I'm going to override that method, and I'm going to override it in some of these other methods also. So I'm going to override it here in this cat method. So now I've got all of my classes. I've got my generic speak here. I've got the bird which says chirp, and I've got the cat that says meow. Now, if I go over here to the animal tester, and I go a equals new bird, and I go a dot speak, the first question is I have is, do you, can you guess what it's going to say? Is it going to say grunt? Or is it going to say chirp? Oh, so A used to point to a cat, miss. As soon as I do this, it loses the access to the, to the cat, and now it points to a bird. But that's like allowed because you're going to I'm, I'm, I'm reassigning the pointer to point to a new object, so this object is being lost. Okay. It, it's, it's sort of like if you go like this. If you go int x equals 7, and then you go x equals 5, you throw the, x, the 7 on the floor and forget about it. So that same thing is happening here. But if it's confusing to you, I will just comment this out for the time being. So uh, Ben mentions to me that instead of doing this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a fresh. I'm just going to create a fresh sentence like that to show you that I can declare and define with a mixture, right? I can declare and define with a mixture. So now my question remains. When I call the speak method, is it going to call the animal speak method or the birds speak method? Uh, yes, Mr. Degush, what's your guess, sir? I think it will say grunt for the animal. Well, you might think that, but it turns out that Java is pretty smart. Let me show you. And you can see it knows it's a bird, so it calls the bird speak method. Now, this business here where I had an animal pointer, but I s told it that it was also a bird and it knew enough to call the bird speak method. This is a topic we're actually going to discuss a different day. This is topic number seven on the board here called polymorphism, the whiteboard over there. And that's going to be the topic for a different day. What I want to talk about today is a slightly different topic. Let's go back to our bird class. And I'm going to put in a fly method here. So here is my fly method. Now, I want you to notice that the animal class you see, it doesn't have a fly method. You see that, right? It doesn't have a fly method. But the bird does now, because you know that birds fly, but most animals don't, right? So now, I want you to notice something strange. When I go over here, and I go fly, do you think this will compile or not? And this is where it starts to get a little tricky. Please discuss with your partner, do you think this will compile? I already showed you in the last example when I call the speak method, it knows it's a bird, right? So it calls the bird speak method, it goes chirp. Now all I want it to do is fly. Should work, right? It's a bird. What do you think? Strangely, it will not compile. And this is the main point of today's lesson, the main point of today's lesson. So to understand why it knew to chirp like a bird but doesn't know to fly like a bird, seems weird, right? When I told it to speak, the thing that it checked at compile time before, learning to, before it started to compile is, can an animal speak? That's the only question it asks. Can an animal speak? And the answer is yes. We know that because here is the speak method for animal. So the compiler gave it the thumbs up. It compiled and it started to run. At runtime, when it ran, 
and I told it to speak, instead of going to the animal speak, it said, wait a minute, is there a special speak method that I should call because I'm some special kind of animal? And at runtime, it realized that it was what? A bird. It realized it was a bird. It says, oh, hey, I got my own speak method. Let me call that one. So it calls that one. So now when it calls that one and it's time to speak, it says chirp. Now look what happens when I ask it to fly. The compiler at compile time, compile time asks, does the animal know how to fly? What's the answer? The answer is no. See, here's the problem the compiler has. At compile time, the compiler can't tell necessarily what kind of object you're pointing to because, yeah, it's declared to be bird here, but you could have changed it somewhere else. So because it does not know what kind of object is sitting in A, all it knows is that it's an animal, you can only do animal things here. Do you see that? You can only call animal methods. You're restricted. The pointer is restricted. We used to say the pointer is deprecated to only calling methods that an animal knows about. Mr. Baker. That's right, sir. I'm going to show you that next. So here, you can see that because the animal doesn't have a fly method, this will not compile. So let's look at what Mr. Baker just said. If instead I had done this, now you see that's not a problem because it knows it's pointing to a bird and birds can fly. So you can see that this is going to be fine. But here, I'm going to be restricted to only doing things that an animal can do. So that's kind of tricky right there. Now, I mentioned to you that a lot of times you don't know what you have on the other side, so you want to use a more generic pointer. It turns out that this is most often used, this trick of pointing to a different type of object in conjunction with an array or an array list. So let's take a look at that scenario for a second. I'm going to give you a two minute break to think this over and then we're going to pick up in just two minutes.